Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video. And as I continue my series of unboxings, uh, uh, as I switch to the Sony A9, um, this was the logical next step. So here is the A9 battery grip. Now, I picked this up uh, even though I had already picked up the grip extension. And I'll do a comparison between both because I've had some comments thrown in there that the grip extension is a waste of money, just get the battery grip. And uh, I completely disagree with that. So before we kind of get into that comparison, let me just go ahead and unbox the battery grip and then I'll show you what it looks like. So right now I don't have my second A9. I'll be picking up that, I'll be picking it up next week. So I'll unbox it, I'll kind of show you what it looks like and then I'll actually shoot on my iPhone and show you what it looks like on the camera. So you'll see kind of a difference in quality drastically. But let's go ahead and unbox it. So here it is, it retails for 350. dollars So uh, just like every official battery grip, not the cheapest. Um, opening it up. So here you have your manuals. I'm not sure how many manuals you need for a battery grip. And in here, the battery grip and an empty box. So put it to the side, open it up, and here it is. So just like you expect, um, overpriced for sure. Uh, I think every battery grip, every official battery grip is definitely overpriced, but you want to make sure you have, at least in my opinion, uh, the best quality I'm going to be using this for weddings. The customers are paying me uh, for a wedding, so I'm going to bring the best gear. I'm not going to bring a third-party one that could crash or not crash, but fail me during the shoot. Um, so that's why I'm always, when it comes down to battery and memory cards, I try not to deviate, just kind of go as official as possible. Just minimize points of failure because the last thing you want in a wedding day is your equipment to fail. And that's just my belief there. So pretty simple, guys, you can see. Open up the switch here. It fits two batteries. Comes in here. Oh, big fail. How do you put it in? Boom, like that. Locks in place. So you got your, your focus, little thumb pad. All the buttons feel good. The fit and finish is gonna match the camera. So what's really cool is right here, you're able to put in your battery door. So when you insert the battery grip, that you're able to store it somewhere. So enough talking and let's go ahead and put this on the camera. So I'm gonna to switch to an iPhone now. Okay guys, here we are. So here we have the A9. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off the battery and the battery door. So here inside you're gonna see a little black button. You're gonna press or pull that down and it's gonna release the door. So very simple. And let's go ahead and pop the battery out. Put it to the side and we'll start with the door itself. So as you can see, it is uh, fairly simple. I think it should pop in place. My first time here guys, so don't judge me. I think you might need to pull the little black button and then it should lock in place and you hear it click. So there you go. So you'd have to pull the black button and it closes just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the battery door. We'll slide. The one battery door in and I have more batteries on the way even though so far I've charged this battery once and I've used it for a entire maternity session and all these what three or four videos I made today and it's still at only 50% so let me just go ahead and pop that in place and there we are so let's go ahead and turn it on I don't have a lens attached to it. Uh, I'm shooting with the iPhone right now, so I didn't want to, <laughs> the focal length here is a little tighter than I want, so I didn't want to just have a huge lens on here. But as you can see, camera turns on. It really makes the camera feel more like a traditional SLR that you might be used to. So uh, the vertical grip gives you that extra shutter button. As, as a whole, it's just very comfortable. It feels very rugged. Um, yeah. Not much to say. So if you compare this and get, go ahead and let me get the battery extension or the, the extra grip that Sony sells, it's fairly different. So Sony sells this for 129 and this is kind of the extra grip extension. So you can see pretty big difference in size. I bought the battery grip for the sole purpose of weddings and longer events because again, you don't wanna have to worry about battery. Even though these batteries are great, for me, the longer, or the more time I have with certain batteries, the least I have to worry about it, right? So I don't wanna just worry about certain things. I wanna just be there in the moment. So this is what I bought the battery grip for. 
and this is perfect. I still feel it's lighter than a traditional SLR. It feels great. It really it's very sturdy. But this is not what I want to carry around every day. The benefit of having mirrorless is the size. So if I teamed this up with a smaller pancake lens like the new Samyang 35 or the Zeiss 35, it really defeats the purpose of having a small camera having the script the entire time. So I bought this little grip extension. Now as a whole, it it is a ripoff, right? It's super expensive for what it is. I mean, it's, it's metal and it's nice, but it's $130. Now I'm six foot four. I have I want to say fairly large hands, and this is wonderful because it gives you a little extra pinky a pinky grip on the camera. You just have a better grip, and this doesn't add weight. It doesn't add bulk. It just adds the grip where you need it. So yes, it's a ripoff. $130. Flat out ripoff, they're taking your money and laughing. But if you have large hands, there is no reason to carry around a battery grip with you all freaking day. It, it doesn't make sense to me. This is essential for events or for professional use, I vouch for it, but I'm not gonna carry this around like this all day. Um, this is just a better route for me. So I know I was going back and forth with someone in the comments that, that I was stupid for buying this and I should've just bought a battery grip. Completely disagree, they both have different purposes and I highly recommend checking this out. I know right now they're giving them away for free if you buy a new A9 at my local camera store. So if you can get a deal like that and not pay for it, definitely kudos to you. You'll you'll like it, you'll love it. And I'm gonna hate saying this. I'll do a review on it, but you should just pick it up regardless. It's really essential. It makes the grip um, better. I mean, it just does, at least for me it does, if you have a large hands. So anyways, guys, quick unboxing of the A9 battery grip and comparison to the battery extension. Sorry for ranting there for a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more content on the A9 and why I'm switching on the channel. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.